introducing the OxyClone 40. Get your clone on, dude. Wow, amazing. Welcome to my humble greenhouse once again. I've been given the privilege to review the operation of the brand new OxyClone 40, a 40 position cloner from OxyClone. Now this looks just about the right size for me. Anyhow, this is a brand new design. A very nice recessed pod holders. Easy to take off, easy to maintain. Contains a pump. Take the lid off here. Contains a pump that'll stick right there when it's wet. Now this pump, it's a submersible pump that shoots out here. But there's an air intake also, so it drags air as it's pumping, and so you get a good recirculation with air embedded in it. It also has what is called an oxy halo. It uses a double pump, two air inlets, and it creates a lot of very fine, small, microscopic bubbles. And you're going to use a double outlet pump. Let's talk a little bit more about this submersible pump. This is the inlet and this is the outlet. And as mentioned, the outlet has a hose coupled to it with an air valve so you can adjust the amount of air drawn through the pump and to the output. It's recommended to leave this valve fully opened. Also notice on the inlet, there's a plus minus switch thing. And the plus side opens the inlet fully to get maximum flow. The inlet to the pump has a filter. Here's that little switch set up. decrease or in increase the flow that covers the outlet or uncovers it. Pretty slick. Now this filter can be rinsed out occasionally because it will plug eventually. But it's kind of a coarse filter. It won't pick up a lot but it picks up some of the bigger debris. Anyhow you just pull it off, rinse it out with warm water and you're good to go. This also comes with inserts that you can get in several different colors. Now, the big advantage to that is that you can label specific plants. You can actually color code them, which is kind of neat. The thing about these is they're pre-drilled, and that eliminates the stress on the cutting. So anyhow, I'm going to use a couple of different colors uh, kind of make it a technicolor deal but we're going to put about 20 cuttings in this so it's time to get busy so let's load it up with all these different colors and then we're going to do about 20 cuttings so we got a little bit of work to do here we're loaded with inserts and we're ready to go nice thing about this new design is there's plenty of space here to take these cuttings out when they get roots. Just as a comparison, I've been using two of these 16 position oxycloners and they work great, but sometimes I need a little more. So I think that 40 position unit is going to be just about perfect for me. First off, we're going to fill the unit with three and a half gallons of tap water. Now my tap water is city water and its pH is about seven and a half. Okay we have it filled with uh, three and a half gallons and when you have it filled it should be about a half inch above the pump. You never want it to get below that. 
so you do need to check it occasionally, especially as the plants grow, as they root. Okay, so let's turn it on and see what happens. Starting from scratch, it'll take about two minutes, or less even, to develop a blanket of bubbles on the top. And as those bubbles, the blanket, develops, it constantly sprays micro spray up into the medium. Now there is one more thing you can do. You can actually attach a pump, pump outlet to this valve, which will even give you more air. Now, as recommended by the manufacturer, you can just use plain tap water. Now, well water you might have to correct, but tap water generally, I mean, you might have to contend with the uh, chlorine, but actually, that's considered a benefit anymore because it has a sterilizing effect in the beginning, and then it basically evaporates away. Anyhow, you can use a cloning solution if you want to, and it might speed it up a bit. I usually drop a couple of drops of Super Thrive in there, and that takes care of it until it's rooted. Well, let's take one cutting to show you how it works. I like to make my cuttings about six inches long, so we're going to cut it right where that node is. First of all, make sure that you have very clean either a blade or shears and I like to go ahead and cut it at an angle because that's the way it's trimmed anyway and so there you go right there I even snagged it before it fell so now what I'm going to do is scrape the ends just a little bit you don't have to do that but I, I'm used to doing it and I, I think it works a little better I'm going to trim off these parts here and stick it in the cloner. So here it is trimmed and a little bit scruffed on the end. And we're going to take one of these yellow ones and put it right in there. Okay, we've got it installed. Now the end of the stem here should just about touch the water, but it doesn't have to. It's actually better if it's just above the water, then the spray goes on it constantly. And you'll be running this 24 hours a day. If the leaves are large, you can cut some of it off or cut the whole thing off. But a, leaves a, leave a little bit of leaf. Better photosynthesis. We're loaded with 20 generic cuttings. So this is day one of operation and there's no roots. What I'm going to do is add a few coleus cuttings and we'll go from there. We'll keep track uh, on a daily basis to see root progress. One thing I forgot to mention, you can also get these inserts in black. A lot of people prefer black. Anyhow, just another option. It's a great little system. But now we have coleus genera and sweet basil so we're going to take several cuttings now the coleus was put in a day after the genera and I just put the basil in so there's no need to here we are eight days later and of course it's raining you can hear the rain on my little plastic loop let's check it out this is eight days since day whoa yeah you're looking pretty good, man. Now notice uh, a couple of minutes after, after you start this thing up, you get a nice bubble blanket on the top. These are very, very fine bubbles. And you can see the micro spray emitting from you. Check it out. This covers the entire area, so you get some pretty uniform root growth. Very healthy looking. 
Alright, I am very impressed with this. Some of these we just put in, so especially the basil, so you won't get any of it. Like I say, I am very impressed with this. And here you go. We're getting some very healthy root development. This is a 14 day update of the Oxyclone 40, 14 days from start. We have Brassicolius, basil, only four sweet basil, and Pliny genera. So let's check it out. Whoa, man. Shut the front door, man. Okay. I think we have proof positive here. So, I don't know about you, but I'm so... As mentioned before, OxyClone provides everything you need to run this system. Two pumps, the double output air pump and the uh, recirculation pump. And you receive two sets of inserts. One set of black and a set of multicolored. So there you go. I think we have a winner here. Once again, I appreciate your support and thank you for watching my videos. Take care.